Welcome everyone, to another episode of your smartphone series. I just want to speak to us today about humble beginnings. I just want to speak to us today about where we start from. I just want to speak to us today about our inspiration in order for us to get our elevation. Yes, I was in a meeting and I just got out of the meeting. And the reason I got out of the meeting was because my phone kept beeping. I got a call from a friend. Yes, phone rings, I pick up the phone. Hey bro, what's going on, man? Have you seen the new LeBron James commercial? No, I haven't, man. I, I was just, you know, I've been busy, you know, getting to it. Oh, you know, he was talking about humble beginnings, you know. That guy's really narcissistic. Really? What did he do again? You know, he was, you know, trying to promote his school. And then he trying to, you know, he found a way to even, you know, find a way to, you know, insinuate that, you know, he was almost the greatest athlete that ever existed. He had clips of him blocking the Warriors. Yada, yada, with the whoop. And I said, okay, I'll give it a look when I get up. So I hang up the phone. And I go and watch the same commercial. And then what do I see? I see somebody who actually was actually saying a different message than what my friend was saying. My friend was telling me that he was a narcissist. My friend was telling me that this generational athlete, something we see, a person, a specimen that we see every 50 years, telling the other 7 billion people who are just regular folks, who can't jump out of the gym, who can't run through a Ziploc bag, that they should be humble. No, the wrong information was actually conveyed to my friend from what he actually got from that commercial. Because what I got was the euphemism for what growing up humble meant. Growing up humble was just a euphemism that nobody should have to grow up poor. Not that nobody should be humble anymore. How did we get that from that? We actually have to get out of the, this outrage society. This, if it bleeds, it leads. This opinionative society where everybody just wants to jump out of the window upset. Everybody's always mad about something because they misinterpreted something. But what my friend didn't understand was the fact that LeBron just meant that Nobody should have to grow up poor. Nobody should have to go up and have to deal with schools with third grade reading levels for high schoolers. Nobody should have to deal with all the things they deal with. But hey, situations happen where you just have to make your way out of it. Because if he didn't have the unique talent to be able to supersede his surroundings and his background and his demographic in order for him to be at this profile he currently is, we would never see this humility. Because majority of us don't have the humility because we're born privileged. Hey, if I was born at, if I was born on third base and I thought I hit a triple, I'd feel a, a specific kind of way. But I know I wasn't. I know where my mom started from. I know where I started from, and I know where I've gotten the brand to. So I have humble beginnings because I know where Eddie Camoza started off at, with just a dream, drawing sketches, looking for textiles and designs, looking for models. Looking for hashtags and retweets. Reaching out to this person. Hey, man, I think you should I think you should post me, man. Hey, how much is a fee for the influencer? Different people told me no. But I still kept pushing because of the humble beginnings. It's just humility, right? We just have to keep pushing through and keep going forward. Because it doesn't matter where you start from. It only matters where you end up at. So the commercial was actually a euphemism for you actually starting off where you're at. You can start off on third base and still get there. Stephen Curry did it. Clay Thompson did it. There's no beginning point. You actually have to win with your story, your drive, and your consistency, your discipline, your dedication, and most importantly, your determination. Goodbye.